what type of experiments students do really affects how they think and behave and what they ultimately learn. The traditional type of experiment is doing a cookbook type procedure where they're kind of rigidly following the instructions but in terms of actually getting students to think for themselves it doesn't give them much opportunity to do so so it's not great for training them to think like scientists. As we were going through and designing our course we wanted to integrate more experiments that were more open-ended and gave students the opportunity to apply what they've been learning in the theory part of the course we then put the students in a better position if they encounter any problems. They can problem solve themselves, not just simply following a script in a manual. Students really enjoy the opportunity to make their own decisions and think for themselves. It gets them thinking about theory and then how to perform that in the, in the laboratory. One of the things about the lab is it's a very overwhelming environment. There's so much sensory information here that can impact how well they're sort of thinking about what they're supposed to do or trying to learn those skills. We had the idea of, well, why don't we have a simulation of that experiment? They don't have to then worry about all the hands-on stuff that they're doing. They can just concentrate on the thinking part. They can make mistakes online. So if they heat a reaction mixture too much and it goes pop, there are no consequences. It's been really positive feedback from the students, not only around the animations, the videos, but around the type of inquiry-based experiments that we've introduced. They feel that their confidence has increased, not only with the theory, but also actually performing the techniques and the experiments in the lab. We've shared what we've been doing, and it's led to other people using some of our materials or experiments. I think it's been really nice in terms of helping shaping the, the conversation about having more of these types of labs in our courses and how important they are for training. We all have an interest and we all care about helping all our students become better chemists.